In this video, I will provide you with a quick configuration walkthrough for connection of the DCNSW software to a DCNCCU2 or DCNCCU B2. First, start by opening the DCN configuration application. This is how the application will look if you do not have a valid IP address for the software to recognize a CCU2. So let's go and change our Ethernet IP address first. Our local area connection will need to be at an IP address within the range of the DCN CCU2 and should be a static IP address somewhere at 192.168.0. something. I'm going to set mine to 101 because I know the default IP of the DC and CCU2 is 192.168.0.100. Now that the software recognizes that we have a valid IP address, it allows us to log into the SQL server. Now we need to set the IP address that the server connects to the CCU2 with. Again, the default IP address is 192.168.0.100. Mine happens to be at 102. Now that it's at the correct IP address, the system confirms that it's then connected to the DCN NG system. Bosch. Invented for life.